let's get to our wildfire coverage this morning. The wildfire near Grand Jean continues threatening an iconic lodge in the Sawtooth Wilderness. Several structures around the Sawtooth Lodge have already burned, though people who love going there aren't even sure how badly right now. The lodge manager says details are few and far between, even for him, because crews are busy battling the fire right now. He and another woman who considers the land her homeland are sitting tight here in the Treasure Valley. They're waiting and they're praying that firefighters can protect the place that means so much to them and so many of you. Abby Davis has the story. There were there were 13 of us. Three generations of the Grand Jean family gathered for their annual reunion at the Sawtooth Lodge in July, right before the Wapiti fire. It's been heartbreaking. Spread onto the property, Mary's late grandfather, Emil Grand Jean, once called home. It encapsulates his life. A very high adventure. He worked for the Forest Service and is the man the Boise County area is named after. It became his ranger station in about 1908, which is now the lodge. And there have been fires around it, you know, through the years, but nothing that's come this close. Lodge manager Jesse Bueller says three structures have burned. He hasn't been able to get back in to check, but sent these photos taken before he evacuated on the 29th. Um, it sounds like maybe one of the bathroom structures, uh, potentially a yurt, um, and then uh, also potentially um, some of our power grid. The more than 17,000 acre fire is also hitting their bottom line. It's been tough. The remote getaway where people rent cabins, yurts, and camping in RV spaces is open seasonally. Bueller says they've lost $150,000 in revenue. That number will likely double if they have to stay closed. We had to uh, lay off our staff um, and then also canceling reservations. So it's going to be a difficult road back. One they say will require the help of everyone who loves the lodge. Regardless of its condition, it's going to be beautiful to me. A beloved place with more than 100 years of history. I am 100% confident. Um, this is going to be a silver lining. We're not done. We want to stay open. Um, and, you know, with our history, like, we're not giving up now. Love his commitment to just waiting it out. And Grand Jean says the community is already stepping up to support the lodge so far. They've raised more than $6,000 through a GoFundMe, but as he just told you, they've already lost $150,000 in business and more to come. Dealer says, though, people are booking reservations for next summer already, says that's, that's a big helpful. help. Mm -hmm. Yeah.